Your end drops. Oh. Okay. Roof axe is right here. It's actually a really nice weapon, by appearance wise at least. Let's see if I can find it. There it is. Does 20 points of stamina damage. It actually has uh, dragons on the side of it. Let's see if I can get a good close up of it with, with, with it out. Nah. Oh well. Alright, let's go back here. There is the possibility of it being here. There's a possibility of a nether daedric quest starting here by finding an item. Yeah, I don't like dog companions. You can find a few and actually have them follow you. But they're so pushy. I can never get a good lock on an enemy. If you can get behind the mountain again, you can actually go in through the back entrance, but unfortunately I can't, so... Or I could, but I just don't want to. Back to this long loading screen. There we go. The vampires didn't have enough time to respawn, so you can just dart through here. Shout. Oh yeah, I did do the side quest to make the um, Amulet of Talos no longer a quest item. So I no longer have it in my inventory, so it's not wasting up space or weight. <laughs> Unfortunately, there is a glitch with this quest where it won't, where you will finish the quest and everything will be said and done. And the quest, uh, the Talos Amulet won't be a quest item, uh, item anymore. Sorry, but. The quest itself will still appear in your quest list. It's a miscellaneous quest, so it doesn't really matter. You've got the axe! And my dog! Splendid! Excellent work! A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost... storybook. Ah, <laughs> oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. And with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. 
There's a whole world just waiting for me! <laughs> I knew I could trust you. Yeah, yeah, dog gets master, master gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, mutt. Don't worry, I'll make sure he sees the light. I trusted you, now you trust me. Ah, oh, that feels so much better. You forget how nice Supreme Power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Or maybe a few decades of... Oh, fine. Have my boon and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. If you want to keep the axe, you can. But if you haven't got the Oblivion Walker ability, you won't be able to get uh, the Oblivion Walker achievement. You won't be able to get it if you choose the axe. This is the only true obli um, Daedric artifact from uh, Clavicus. Price is twenty percent better. Speechcraft goes up by ten, and magic regenerates five percent faster. It's a weird home, so you'll never see me wear it. <laughs> so yeah, I'd recommend choosing the helmet over the axe, even though it looks a lot cooler. <laughs> Alright, the next quest um, is an interesting one. It actually, I'm actually going to glitch it to where I can get um, two Daedric artifacts at once. <laughs> but before we do that, we have to go somewhere else. Oh, my controller became unplugged for a second. Okay. Uh, before we go to uh, the, do the quest, we're going to go to Blood of Man's Grotto. We're going to be coming back here again later in the quest, but there is a unique item here you can only get before or well after the quest. So I'm going to get the item here now. Yeah, Bloodman's Grotto is just to the left of White Run. Just follow the um, mountain strip; you'll find it eventually. <coughs> there are a lot of animals here. Across these bears stuck in the T formation, if you know what that, if uh, programmers who know what that it means, it was absolutely hilarious. Bear, kill it. Forget Spriggan mothers or matrons. Is that one down there? Oh. Ah, shock damage. Here's another uh, Shrine of Talos, by the way. And here's the unique item. It's uh, Bowler, Bowler's Oathblade. It's actually a katana. Where is it? There it is. 25% uh, stamina damage and creatures and people up to level 12 run for 30 seconds. It's a decent weapon but it's pretty weak. Hmm. Okay. There's more to this area, I just don't want to go through it all. Fine. We'll be coming back here again and we'll go through the entire area then. Like I said, that was just for me getting the weapon. Alright, we're going back to Falkreath now. 
Also, for those that want to play both a vampire and a werewolf, you have to do this quest. I'll teach you a glitch that will allow you to keep the ability to turn into a werewolf. <laughs> After you cure yourself of lycanthropy. Granted, for those that want to play Dawnguard as both Vampire and Werewolf, I'm not sure if this will work yet. I'm assuming it will because you do technically transform into a Werewolf, so sh you should technically get the EXP and whatnot. So, we'll see. <laughs> if I find out before then, I'll tell you guys. Anyway, off to the barracks. Was that it? It's a goat. Just sitting in the middle of the road. <laughs> Into the barracks. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I have hair in my eye. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Gotta keep my eyes open. Yeah, while you're inside, that could happen. Down at any time. Talk to this guy. Good morning. Come to gawk at the monster. The little girl is dead because of me. Believe me, it wasn't anything I ever intended to do. I just... lost control. I tried to tell them, but none of them believed me. It's all on account of this blasted ring. This is the ring of Hersing. I was told it could let me control my transformations. Perhaps it used to, but I'll never know. Hersing didn't care for my taking it, and threw a curse on it. I put it on, and the changes just came to me. I could never guess when. It would be at the worst times. Like with the little girl. I don't suppose there's a point in keeping the secret if I'm going to die in here anyway. I'm sure you've heard of men who shift to beasts under the influence of the moons. I am one of them. A werewolf. It's my secret. And my shame. That's why I wanted the ring. It was said to give men like me control. Now, I may look like a man, but I still feel the animal inside of me as strong as ever. been looking for a way to appease Hersing. There is a certain beast in these lands. Large, majestic. It's said that Hersing will commune with whoever slays it. I tracked it into these woods, but then I had my accident with the child. I want to beg his forgiveness. Give him back the ring. But while I'm stuck in here, the beast wanders free. Oh my... You would do this for me? Here, take it. I, I don't want anything to do with this wretched thing anymore. Seek out the beast. He wanders these woods. Bring him down and... Well, the Lord of the Hunt should smile on you. I wish you luck. But you leave here while I still have my skin. Should our paths cross again, I will remember your kindness. Alright, well. now the ring is automatically equipped. And you will randomly, I mean randomly, transform. It could be, you know, you might never transform during the entire quest, or you might transform five times. You never know. But it is this ring that allows us to uh, access the glitch. Once we fix it. <laughs> I've never seen that before. Anyway, you got to get out of here quickly. There's the quest. I was wondering, why why didn't I get the quest yet? There we go, now I'm out of town. <laughs> if you transform into a werewolf in town, or where guards can see you, you will get a bounty. <laughs> what you're looking for is a giant white elk. 